Hi, this is Anna and you're watching the HTC One M9 Disassembly. If you'd also like to watch the HTC One M8 Disassembly, you could click on the video right here. Hi guys, we're here with the HTC One M9. And before you begin, first thing you have to do is remove the SIM card slot and the memory expansion slot on either side of the phone, which I've already done. And then on this year's model, compared to last, they changed the design a little bit. So last year's model, you'd remove the top and bottom speaker grill covers. Uh, this year, they've incorporated into it like a one design around the screen. It's a one piece. And uh, how you remove it, you're gonna get your plastic preferably pry tool so you don't damage the phone and you're going to work your way around the edges where the power button and the volume buttons are and you're going to lift you're going to push in and lift up so it has clamps all around and we're going to remove the top it separates from the middle part of the housing so let's work our way Okay, so now once you work your way around the edges on the sides and on the bottom, let me give you a closer look. You're just going to loosen it up a bit. You'll see it lift up a little bit, but it's not going to come up all the way. It's not going to completely come off. What you're going to have to do next is once you made some room to be able to pull the top black cover over the phone off, it has some adhesive underneath it. You're going to gently pull it off. Comes off just like that. And you have two screws underneath here on the top of the phone. One here and one on this other corner. We're going to have to remove those. And these, by the way, they're going to be T4 screws, so Torx, Torx 4. Remove those. Okay. Now you can work your way to the top. And there you go. The back comes off just like that. I'm gonna hold this for you guys to see a little bit. Okay. All right, so when we take a look on the inside, we have the camera over here and then your battery connector is going to be right here on the bottom it has two screws on it and again with HTC always on the inside is just a mess it's always so many wires going so many places I don't know why don't, they don't simplify the design on the inside but let's go ahead and take it apart I'm going to remove the 
these protective stickers that are covering the connectors. Lift up the white tab connectors that lock into place, those white tabs right here. Just press up, clicks up, and then pull out the cable gently. And then we're going to pop these connectors up, the blue and the white. Now there's two Phillips screws that are holding the battery connector. Take those off. And pop off the battery connector right there. Another white tab over here, a small one to pop up. Then you can remove this bottom cable. One there, and we have one here. We're going to remove this gray sticker that's going over it. You should be careful you don't cut the cables underneath it when you're removing it. Small block connector right here too, remove that. A couple more T4 screws on the inside. On top, we're gonna remove. These are the two silver ones by the camera. And then you have four black ones on the edges of it. Now, they're going to lift up the vibrator off the frame of the phone because it's soldered onto the board. And then you have a few more, a few more connectors over here we're going to have to work on. Let me put this on the black background so you can see. This is going to be your water damage sticker. 
your water damage indicator. This is by the flash, the LED flash. Now you're gonna remove these two silver connectors. You're gonna pop them up, one and two. And on these ends too, it's one and two. Snow. There's a cable underneath it, it's attached to the top board. You're gonna pop it up. And then, as you can see, these come loose. Underneath that, there's one more cable attached to the top corner. Remove the protective sticker on top of it. And then pop the tab open and gently pull the cable out on that corner right there. Okay, so we're gonna remove this, lift up this rubber cover that's by the charger port that's covering one of the cables going through it. Oh, not the charger, by the vibrator, I'm sorry. And then you're gonna go to the bottom of the phone there's one T4 screw there right by the charger port. Not the two black ones, but the silver one on top. Move the protective sticker over it. And then remove that screw that's holding the main board down. And there's adhesive underneath the board towards the bottom. Just put a small flathead underneath it carefully or better use a plastic pry tool to make some leverage. And just gently remove your main board. So that's the main board. That's underneath it. And now you're left with the battery the main camera, the front facing camera, the top board, your charger port, your frame, and your LCD pretty much. So now let's work our way through. You now have three black T4 screws on the bottom to remove. Pull up on the speaker assembly right here. And this is your bottom speaker.
Here's your charger port. And your headphone jack is also on the charger port board. So those two would be replaceable individually. Say if your charger port goes bad. You have this cable, it's a little flimsy, as you can see. It's just held on by tape. That cable connects your board, your main board, I should say, to the top board. So we're just gonna leave that on for now. It's gonna be connected to the top board. Top board. It's gonna remove this. Uh... Now, what we're gonna have to do is remove the volume and the power buttons. They're held on with adhesive, so work your way gently underneath them to lift them up off the frame. Be careful not to cut it. Okay. So once that pops up, okay, you're going to have two tabs on the top. Just push them in and away so they'll just pop off the tops that's holding it down. And then there's one tab by the main camera over here, black tab, just work that silver area off it. And then you're gonna lift the board from the left side. And this is gonna be the bottom of it, on the top board. You're gonna put a flat head underneath this silver piece. It's held on by it, so just work it off and it's gonna separate from the frame. So it doesn't focus on that. So we got this. We have your main camera right here and your front facing camera right here. Now you're left with your top speaker, the frame, and the battery. Now for the battery, it's going to be the same. You're just going to have to heat it up just a little bit with either, uh, I, suge I, I suggest a blow dryer, not a heat gun, because with the heat gun, you might just overdo it and ruin the battery. But uh, just heat it up just a little bit, and then you could stick a plastic pry tool underneath from the sides and just work your way, pry the battery up. But I'm not going to do that, there's no need to. It's pretty much all that's left. And then in order to remove the LCD, say you break the LCD, you're going to heat it up from the front also. And the back, there's adhesive. So you'd separate the LCD from the front of the frame on the sides. You'd work your way around. And then you'd lift the LCD up away from the frame. And you pop on your new LCD frame, but remember, first you're gonna have to remove the battery because all the connectors for the LCD screen and so forth are underneath it. So you'd have to remove those to get to it. So here's one more look before we assemble the phone. These are gonna be on the underneath the battery. Okay. All right, let's put the top back on, top board.
hop on the top two tabs push back your main camera um, um, your top front facing camera and then your main camera work it back into its tab and its slot so it's nice and tugged Okay, we're going to go ahead and put this small connector right here back in. And close the top to lock it. Close that tab to lock it in place. And then put the protective st sticker back on it. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to reconnect this cable connector and then right next to the camera. It's going to be the, when you're when you're facing it's going to be to the left side of the camera. So you're going to connect that connector back onto the top board to make the connection between the main board later on. charger port and headphone jack back on. We're going to put the bottom speaker back on. It clicks back into place. Putting the main board back on. Work your way around the connectors, make sure they're not stuck underneath. This one connector on the top left, the big one, part of it goes underneath. So only that one, you can put underneath it, make sure the rest are over the board. And then we're gonna put that first connector in because it's gonna be hard to put it in later. Just make sure you put that one in first. The top left connector, the big one.
that rubber cover over the board. Now once you have the board in place, Press down on the bottom to re-stick the adhesive on the bottom that was holding the board in place and then we're going to put the T4 screw back in. And this is the silver color. Put that protective sticker over the screw. Next, we're going to connect this small tab that goes for the speaker or a small uh, cable, I mean, and then put it in the connector. Press down on the white tab to lock it in place. And now we can put the protective sticker over that. Okay. Now you can work one by one putting these connectors back onto the main board. Make sure the white tabs are open so the connectors go in and then you can lock them in place. Pop this black cable connector is what we have so far. I'm going to put the vibrator back in place, push it in. Now we're going to put these two silver cable connectors back on to the top board and the main board. Okay. Now we're going to put the top four black T4 screws back on as well on the outer corners of the top board. Put the water sticker back on. It goes by the LED flash. 
and put the silver sticker back over it covering these bottom cables it's also has some like some sort of shield and put the last protective sticker over the last cable Now, we're going to put the two remaining T4 screws, the silver color ones, because they're somewhat longer, on the top of the main board. Now that we're sure everything's in place. Now before you connect the battery, always connect the battery at the end because you don't want to possibly short anything out when you're touching it. Connect those last two cable connectors. The blue and the silver one that go by the battery connector. And then last but not least, the battery connector. Pop that in place. Then you're gonna put the two Phillips screws that are silver in color. We'll hold the connector down. And you're pretty much done. All that's left is to put the back cover on and the top plastic cover piece. So, you're going to put the bottom in first, slide it down into place. Make sure your volume and power button are back in place. And just pop back in the tabs. And then you're going to put your top T4 screws in. They're black in color. Back cover over. You're gonna put the outsides in first, so it's gonna be kind of concave. Just put the outsides in first, and then click into place. Press down so the adhesive holds, and it reapplies itself. And you're done.
I can power back on the phone. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, subscribe, and comment below.